third of my time is probably working for accountants fighting their court cases because either the barrister says you've got no hope or the accountant says I can't do it. And I literally take on the shitheads at, at, at HMRC <laughs> because as far as I'm concerned they're still clerks and let's have a go. Where they can't put me into prison, the worst they can say is no. But I do a lot of the basic work. Why do I do it? It's because then I have the understanding of your business. Literally, I want to support that client. When I take on a client, I try to be their FD. So basically, I want to understand the business. It's my business. It's us. It's not you. It's me. It's our problem. When I go wrong, we've gone wrong. And when they go wrong, it's not, oh, you've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. How can we solve it? And the other thing is, it's don't is, can we do it like most accountants do it? It's always, how can we do it? So let me talk about the basic bookkeeping. And that's what I, I want to do. So people don't know, but I actually am a one-stop shop. And I do the bookkeeping. I don't physically do it myself. I use, I embrace, I, I embrace technology. I know I'm a little far, but I do try and embrace technology and I try to keep up to date. So we work and support businesses of all sizes, from small traders to limited companies. The big times when I recommend a limited company. A limited company was originally a tax avoidance scheme glorified. It's no longer so but there's lots of advantages. Sometimes not tax, but there are other advantages. So how do I support businesses and how do I do that bookkeeping? I use a thing called Xero, because you have to, with making tax go digital, use either QuickBooks, Xero, free agent. I mean, free agent is given free by NatWest, so that should tell you something. <laughs> and Dext and Brightpay for my payroll. What happens is you get a whole lot of invoices, you send them to me, I, we, we help receive payments next. We, we, we connect the bank and Stripe and make sure that every receipt is accounted for next. And we can deal with multi-currency. So we can deal with businesses that send out invoices in dollars and convert into quick. And also we quite often pay bills as well. So I send them the list saying this is what's uh, due. They cross out a few and say, no, I don't want to pay this one, can't afford to pay this one. I sometimes recommend they can wait, we, you know, cash flow is tight. And finally, VAT. So we do the VAT, it's making tax digital, has to be on a computer nowadays. And so we make sure that all that reports are done. So in the old days, that's what used to happen. People used to come with brown bags and shoe boxes and all the rest of it. What happens today? This is what you get today. So you send me, basically, you, you get an invoice. You literally photograph it on our app that will appear on zero as a draft invoice for me. Or you can email it to me. So basically you get an invoice from Vodafone, you, you look at it, yeah, that's good. I give you an address to email, you'll email it, it'll appear in your books almost instantly. So that is then put onto zero, which is the accounting system. So when it's put on the accounting system, it'll produce VAT reports, it'll produce a monthly profit loss account, and we try to get literally a profit loss account by the 15th of the month. Um, the clients who don't sit with me and talk to me with at least a quarterly, don't lose out. It's amazing what you learn. I mean, you know, you learn what an idiot I am, or I learn what an idiot you are. <laughs> but <laughs> sit and talk. All knowledge, knowledge is power. But come and talk. I promise you, you won't lose out. It will be very rare. I'm very disappointed. The last question I ask is, did this meeting add value? That, that's what all I'm about. I, I have been, I was, I've been on your side of the desk for many years and ran people with 700 employees. And what I always got was I got no value from the accountant. Literally, you know, what did he do? Yeah, he told me what my tax bill was. Told me what my PAYE bill was. But what else did he do? Nothing. Jack shit. And that's not what I want to do. I want, I want to make a difference to someone's life. If someone can say, oh, well, I'm glad I went to him. So pay, we do payroll. So it's weekly, fortnightly, four weekly, monthly, quarterly. We prepare yearly schedules. We do it all sorts of pay, daily, hourly, piecework, one-off rates, unlimited bulk and individual additions and deductions, payroll, payroll allocations by department. We keep holiday records, di direct earnings attachments, student loan deductions, department analysis. Con uh, CIS, a lot of payroll bureaus will not do We'll not do uh, CIS. We do all of it, and we we do depart. We divide it by departments so that we every the big employees know where they're spending their money, which department is making money or not making money. 
My biggest payroll is 184 employees. That's my biggest. My smallest is one because you know that if you are registered on a scheme, even though it's costing you nothing, you are getting clock. The government is paying towards your state pension. So we need some of you. We need words about that because, okay, fine. You, you're earning, you're taking a salary. Are you paying your state? Because most of you guys are taking dividends. Are you actually contributing to your state pension? It's going to be very sad. I'll be gone by the time you retire, probably, because I'll be 135 or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and honestly, so uh, and forgive me, you go, what did that packy shit head do? I'm not getting a pension. <laughs> it won't be very nice. So, quite frankly, or rather that you didn't do that over my grave. <laughs> Come and get your payroll scheme. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will comprehensive report all the payroll information and put it in your books at any one time. You can say to me, Cass, what do I owe HMRC? We can tell you. What is my corporation tax? Corporation tax can change. It can be a million pounds at the beginning of the year. If you've got the right accountant, it could be zero at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so we deal with all sorts of businesses, sole trader and unlimited companies. And the reason why, in the old days, as I said, yeah, if you earned over 26,000, you were a limited company. It's not so now, because they, there's so much tax avoidance that it, it isn't the way. But the problem is, is it always about accounting? That's where I'm different. Life isn't all about accounting. Like, there's not things that you can't measure. There, there are things that are, are different circumstances. Splitting shares, making sure you're safe. That's probably perhaps more important than then say, I've, I've saved myself 140 quid to the tax left. So do look, think outside the bigger picture. That, that's what it's all about, thinking outside the box. When I fill in a tax form, it's not, okay, I've filled in the form, I look at it, what can I save him? How can he feel I've added value? A little short reminder, 174 days left. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave it till the 31st of January, please. Please, please, please. <laughs> My last return last, last year was done literally at sort of five minutes to midnight to get it oh, in, but right. I did get it in. Let's just think a bit more forward. It's not that difficult. It's just eating that frog. Nell will tell you about that. <laughs> See her. She <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think I've got a minute or so. For any questions? So yeah. that's the P payroll. payroll. Would you not do that P0? Is there a reason why you do quite pay? I, I'll tell you why. Um, Zero try to be everything to everyone, and you know, in life, if you try to be everything to everyone, you end up being nothing. And unfortunately, zero took over payroll, and it just isn't good enough. I mean, it's great for the normal things. The day you have an attachment of earnings, maternity leave, sick leave, all together, it throws a wobbly. And I was literally put in the shit uh, because I used it, and I gave it up, and, and bright pay is much, much more efficient. Should a new business be worried about worried about seeing me. Why would they want to worry about me? I'm, I'm quite small. I'm down the tax. They have a box full of um, invoices, etc. Yeah. Um, what would you say to them? Is there something that That's why they should come and see me. That, that's why they should come and see me. That, that is exactly the time they should come and see me. So that we can get them how, you know, moving forward. Yeah. I wanted to say, um, if I'd come to Cass, I come to I'm, I'd come to BNI and I met Cass about three years into running the business. If I'd known Cass from day one, the amount of money and less stress and everything else that I would have avoided um, would have been amazing. So I'm just so glad that I came to BNI and met Cass. <laughs> and all of us, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, that's what we're learning out of that, Debbie. It's time we know our place. All right.